Is it going to work? Yeah. Do not screw this up. Oh. <laughs> we uh, finally reeled in a big fish. Yeah, we do have a good guess this week. <laughs> and you cannot <laughs> screw this up for me. That's why I'm not wearing my hat, because our guest is so good. I've decided to go casual or formal on top. All right, good. Formal. Good, good, because yeah. we have been fishing for months, and we finally caught a big one. You know? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Welcome to the Tough Questions Podcast. Oh. Huh? I'm your host, Jeff Sheen, with his co-host, Tim McLaughlin. Hey, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> great job, Tim. Good, good job. job. Good All opening, right. guys. And today we're here with uh, our, our big fish, our catch of the day, Karen Feehan. I don't like re- being referred to as a fish out the gate, <laughs> if I'm being honest. It's kind of hurtful. Feels like it's about my genitals. No, I... no. I think your genitals are disgusting. Thanks, Jeff. No. You're fucking disgusting. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, you're gross as hell. No, no, no. Yeah, man's sores look good. You keep oh bringing them God. up. I kind of see what you're saying, though. Like, the act of, like, picking somebody's scabs, like, mm-hmm. knowing that it wouldn't affect you. You get a good-looking white one. <laughs> I know. It, <laughs> it also makes me want to throw up. I can't. It's both. I feel both ways. Because, like, when I see, there was some guy, I don't know if it was on an episode of Pimple Popper or something. Sure. But he had severe psoriasis, where... Oh, that's good. It looks like mud. You know, it looks like dried sand. And you just want to be like, get that off yeah, of there. You peel it oh. off. Yeah, yeah, like bark. You don't want to get that off of there? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like those kind of things. Mm. Um, I don't like the pimple popping videos. I watch them. I love them. them. I watch them, but they are nasty. I like them. I and love I love them. a hoof clean. Yeah. I love cleaning hooves. I love I love when people have holes in them filled with so much shit. And they, <laughs> and they fucking, I've oh, been there for 15 years. <laughs> I just think it's so crazy. You come over to our house. Micah does uh, all the zits on my back yeah. all the time. We, you. She yeah. loves it. Yeah. I used to do it to my all my exes. Oh yeah, it's my favorite. One of my favorite pastimes. Well, we'll find you a pimply man out there. Thanks. Uh, all right, Karen. This, uh, this I don't is know, you the know tough the questions yeah. podcast. I ask you tough questions. And what is and Tim's the good cop? Tim is I'm the funny. funny one. I'm funny. <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> I get to be funny on yeah. the show. And you're questions. just invasive. Yeah, and you can't be funny. You got to give a straight answer. Okay, okay. No okay. Funny stuff. All right, yeah. all right. This is a deposition. Yeah, <laughs> none of your comedic <laughs> talent. Tim's funny. Okay. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I'm gonna be as funny as I can while I watch Why all of this. Why did I wear this shirt? Why didn't you guys tell me it was a white background? It I, used to not be. I probably looked like a floating head. Yeah, it used to be all of those things, and then yeah. I took them down. I guess I did know because I'm the one that did all of this. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been nice to be informed. It's Sorry, fine. guys. I'll remember. Matter. I'll remember you... for our next big fish. <laughs> all right, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me know so I can when I reel in a big one again. Yeah. Uh, by score, you out of ten. You know. And I'm based on how well you do with the questions. How many guests have you guys had? Uh, I think you were 26. Okay. And then uh, you want an over a five, because then you mm-hmm. can do your plugs. Blow a five, no plugs for you. You just got to go. Everyone's right. gotten over a five what, so what, far. What, what, what is the rating system? It's however Jeff feels. <laughs> however I feel you did. <laughs> And you just got lost I earlier with Jeff. I know. It feels like my poetry teacher grading me. You know what I mean? Like, there's no real scale. There's no way oh, to... Oh, captain, my captain, please give me a bubba five. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. There's a, there's a system up here. You'll never figure it out. It's all colors and shapes. Yeah. Oh, dear God. You're um, illiterate. But uh, yeah, I got a whole yes. bunch of questions for you, Karen. Okay. So you ready? You ready to start here? What if no? <laughs> then you got to. All right. First question, Karen. Let me get into it. I want to know. Tim wants to know. I got to know. Our fans are dying to know, Karen. Is this live? Um, no. <laughs> I thought they were somebody's in the chat. No, not yet. But uh, I got to know. You have an OnlyFans. <laughs> now, right how much gate. is it? And how would you pick that price? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, Jeff. You know, um, I've always wondered. It's it's twenty five dollars. Twenty five for oh, reasonable for a month. Yeah, it's pretty similar to like your run of the mill comedy ticket. <laughs> <laughs> if you're touring at a level that I am nope. right now, a lot right. of Thursdays, a lot of Sundays, a lot oh, of yeah. one offs. Sure, twenty five, My- no drink minimum. <laughs> My last Sunday headlining show got canceled because one person showed up. Oh, and I no. said, do I get paid the same? And he goes, yes. I go, cancel this motherfucker. Yeah. Cancel it now. Yeah. So Absolutely. $25. Absolutely. $25, huh? Yeah. And you get, was that a whole month? A whole month. What a deal. Don't act like you don't sub and unsub every other month. <laughs> 
whenever Jeff or Curry gives you some fucking dates, you have some cash in your pocket. Yeah, I got some spending money. Yeah. I know. It's like Gene the Sir Jeffine the Spleen. It's like you have a secret nickname on there. Sheen the Spleen, yeah. back for more. <laughs> Spelled properly. Yeah. Now, how'd you get to 25 a month? How come we didn't go to 50? Um... What held you back? You know, my stuff's pretty tan. You know, I'll be straightforward. I feel mm. like, you know, if I was like, you know, shoving stuff down my throat or in my ass. We're looking at 50? I think you got to <laughs> up it to 50. <laughs> if you're penetrating multiple orifices monthly. Yeah, we're doing 50? Absolutely. What's the highest it goes to? Well, so I do this thing called PPV, which is like a price per view. <laughs> okay. They also all have... Right, um, all right, all right. Now, is that the most uh, economical, you know, if you're looking to save a few bucks? No, you, know? you fucking Jew. <laughs> 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 Damn it. You're like the fucking Bill O'Reilly of podcast questioners. Right? Is that the right guy? Did I mean to say him? Tucker Carlson. Yeah, whatever. I'm you're like He's always asking questions. You're Pierce whatever. Pierce Morgan. Morgan. Yeah, yeah. You're re- giving big Pierce Morgan vibes. All right. Why didn't it make it fifty? Why not? Why did you say it twenty five? <laughs> I don't know. That was like the worst impression of him. I'm that was a bad English accent. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. Right, you should only be allowed to ask questions. So it's pay-per-view. <laughs> All right. So, so that's you, where you make big bucks, That's right? where you make the big, what the fuck of you? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff doesn't understand how any of it works. He does. He's just following trailer park like trash girls that are like, give me a nickel and I'll eat my shit. I'll yeah. eat my own shit. <laughs> Jeff goes to those chicks on uh, TikTok where he gives them roses and yeah. they're like, <laughs> yes. and then they just say something for him. Yeah, Jeff, like, super thanks, super thanks, super thanks. <laughs> yeah, free roses. So pay-per-view, two bucks a view, it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds like. All right, all right. <laughs> what are you writing I'm down? I'm taking notes. <laughs> He's taking notes. Jeff thinks at some point this is going to be worth thousands of dollars. You, you write our... like a polygraph test. <laughs> uh-huh. There's like no, like... Peaks, hardly any peaks and valleys in your cursive. Mm-hmm. That just flow. It just flows on to me. 25 yeah. a month, two bucks per view, <laughs> not 50. If you want 50, you're going to get orifice stuff. Right. I like that word. No, you did, you like did it? You deducted points for orifice? Yeah, yeah, too filthy. Below 25. <laughs> Can you drop down a tier? You got like a economical version? Say yeah. Like 10 bucks. Yeah, like a BJ's Costco wholesale. Oh, great. All right. I buy in bulk. Yeah. yeah. It's a membership club. Is more. Karen fully dressed in a turtleneck? <laughs> just call, just, just <laughs> calling you an asshole. Just yelling at Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All what right. do you mean we're lost again, you little bitch? <laughs> All right. These are fair prices. I appreciate that, Karen. Next question. Moving on here. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. We were speaking earlier. Hmm. Uh, we were speaking earlier. We were all speaking earlier. What type of... Uh, let's see. Now, Jared Schwartz was your sidekick. Uh, Why? Right? <laughs> I, like, literally can't even answer that. Oh, it was, like, such a terrible time in my life. Um, yeah, tell us why. I don't know. Have you ever had, like, uh, like, a stray cat or puppy just, like, show up and then, like, never go away? And then all of a sudden, like, they're bringing you ginger ale and you're, like... You like forget how to get your own ginger ale. <laughs> oh. Okay, convenience. He showed up and he was a nice. He would drive me everywhere. He would pick, he would know my show schedule because he would always ask for five minutes. I, I realized what a fucking pain in the ass this kid was. Like late, like all in hindsight, like it, everything, like all the motivations were insincere. Like, hey, I'll drive you to your gig. And I turn around and he's talking to the host. Yo, let me get five. <laughs> okay. And he would bomb every time. Um, but he was just more like a punching bag on the pod until I fired him. Oh, okay. So he showed up like a stray and there's a... A stray with a car. Yeah. yeah. And isn't that what you always want? Yeah. So he's a stray man with a car yeah. and... Let's see. Karen apparently can be bought. (laughs) I mean, more ways than one. Yep. Yep. I mean, it does keep you from going on the subway, which you hate doing. I really don't like it. Do you take the subway? I'm always taking the subway. I can tell. I'm a man of the people. (laughs) 
I'm down there giving out ones to the homeless. Yeah. People are moving their children away from him. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm Come playing over. violin. Scoot away from that guy with the harmonica. <laughs> I'm a man of the people. So you got a big heart is what it sounds like. Does you know? it? You what? Help what? Somebody. <laughs> They want to help you take them in. I'm really sick of people taking advantage of me, though, you know? Yeah, you're starting to toughen up? That's yeah. That's learn from this. Yeah. Oh, okay, learned. We'll write that down. People, you know, people will take. There's takers in this world. Oh, okay. And they're fucking losers. And they'll take it without giving you your 25 a month. They have no shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They have, like, no shame. Like, people who, like, just constantly accept help and, like, reach out for favors. Mm-hmm, I'm fucking mm-hmm. sick of them. Yeah. All right. Je- Jeff Sheen types, we like to call them. Is that you, Jeff? No, I would never. I only give. I only, only give. give. Okay. All right. Let's lighten the mood, though. Sounds like. <laughs> yeah. Tim just looked like. Going down in a dark place why? here, Karen. Why, does, why am I losing points? I can so I feel, feel it. No, yeah. you're not losing any points yet. I just want to. I want to cleanse the palate here. You okay. like? Do you like reality television, Karen? Sure. All right. I was on a reality TV show. Really? Yeah. What's the name? My big fat fabulous life. One oh. of my favorite. I'm going to be honest. I, we are friends, Karen, but it we is are. one of my favorite clips of all time. <laughs> That's Karen a... is very mean to this fat woman, <laughs> and it is very funny. Oh no! <laughs> Love reality TV. All right. So, who is your favorite reality TV star, and why? Oh. Uh, um. Hmm. There's great, you know, the Jersey Shore is on right now. I like that cast. They're All finding right. Snooky's a good time. She's really wild. I like the Housewives show. I don't really watch the show, but below. Don't do, hold on. Don't do it with the microphone right next to it, you fucking idiot. I had to crack my water. Oh. <laughs> I was getting parched. I'm going to crack sorry. your skull. <laughs> Karen, no. Karen, I'm sorry that was bothering me to my core. Uh, so we got the Jersey Shore, sorry, the Housewives. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to pick a favorite. Do you guys watch Below Deck? <laughs> No, but I've heard good things about it. I heard it's very good from Micah. Yeah, my mom watches it, and there was like oh, two almost date rapes, like oh, two episodes oh in God. a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Um. So, who is like a really funny like reality TV yeah, you star? You gotta give me one here. You know? Yeah, give me a favorite reality TV star. Remember mm. the? I mean, I don't know if he counts as a reality TV star. The one I think he died. But he was on like the celebrity reality TV with the little guy, little Vern. Vern Troyer Vern from Troyer. Austin Powers. Yeah. Oh, you want to go Vern on, Troyer? He was on uh, that. Wasn't he on with uh, uh, China and Ron Jeremy? Yes. Was Ron Jeremy on it? Yep. Speaking of rapists, Troy. So Vern, you want to go Vern Troyer? Vern Troyer. Final, final answer. Finally, all right. How, now, why? Why Vern? Um, just because he's like a midget, and I thought it'd be funny to like bring up a midget. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe you guys would run with it, but you guys are it's like, it's working now. You know, like, why did you? Why did you choose the smaller than average height man? <laughs> We're taking notes. All right. Love what Vern up in parentheses I'll write down looking for laughs. Look. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fuck you, Sheen. My favorite You're a my, fucking weasel. My favorite reality star is C T from the channel. I was gonna say him too. He's from C-T's Boston. Yes. He's wicked retarded. Yes, he is. He's so funny. He uh, what did he marry DM, but then she died, right? Oh no. Oh, is that yeah. true? Yeah, she died of oh, cancer. No. All right. They he was, was there though. He was with her. He was really wonderful. There was a very funny ongoing uh, Nick Kroll, like on the Kroll show. Yeah. They'd always have CT on. Just and he'd be like, "He's a monster." That's all he'd say about him, and he'd never have any lines. <laughs> <laughs> he'd just be in the background of stuff. I like that. <laughs> but I love CT. Yeah, CT's challenge. great. I love CTE too. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Football player. That's what killed Vern. Is that what killed Vern? I have no, no idea. I think it was just like a three foot fall or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! There's the laugh you wanted. There it is. See, Tim can get him because he's allowed to be funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, I forgot. So let's see. You're sober, Karen. Uh, I don't drink. Yeah, you don't drink. So, Alcohol. Uh, what was your rock bottom, and how do you feel about it today? Um, I've had a few. <laughs> how do you feel about it today? How do I feel about it today? <laughs> like, I wake up every day. Remember that rock bottom? That's fucking... <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if Jeff bought a book about how to ask questions. <laughs> yeah, I think he did. Like the uh, like the tags at the end. Yeah. And how do you feel? <laughs> I don't feel. I don't really think about it. Like it's like I just feel like I'm better than people who drank. Oh, okay. Confident. <clears throat> yeah. 
right. and um, my rock bottom. I did a lot of stuff, but um, Sean Donnelly and Kevin McCaffrey used to run this show in the Lower East Side, like on like First and First or something. And oh, I First and First, like I pounded, I think five Jamesons on the rocks, like in the, in a row. It was just getting wasted. It was really okay. loud and annoying at their show. And then I went out and I fell in the middle of the avenue. Oh. I got a scar on my head and these people were going to call the police and I was like, don't call the police. I don't have health insurance or they were going to call an ambulance and I was like, I got this. And I had like a goose egg on my head. That was pretty bad. That was that was your big rock that bottom? That was one of them. I just started like fucking my falling. face up a lot. Yeah. Fucking yeah, up your face you and falling. Do that. Yeah. All right. But now it makes you feel better than everybody else. Who does drink? Who, does Who needs drink? to drink to be interesting? Oh, yes. okay. People uh, like, say me, for instance. <laughs> yeah, she needs to drink. <laughs> but I'm a fall backwards guy. I oh, always, smart. Uh, keep the money maker intact. There you go. Bash your skull open. <laughs> So you feel better than everyone today. Same, same here. Really? Like, oh yeah. You don't drink? Nope. When? Why not? I don't know. I just stopped two what? years ago. Two years ago. Mm-hmm. And now I just feel way better than everybody. everybody. Like, look at this schlub. Look at this loser. You know? yeah. I'm carrying him to the top, kicking and screaming. I see I had it. Five beers last night didn't feel a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I gotta slow this baby down. <laughs> I didn't feel a thing. He was like water though. Yeah. All right. They were high lives. I mean, it wasn't yeah. like. It's, you're mostly hydrating. All right. Speaking of high lives, this can roll into this question. Uh, Karen, yeah. how, how, would have you, uh, how would have you handled January 6th? <laughs> Nightmares. I can't yeah. believe they did that. I can't believe they did that and defaced our capital yeah, in such yeah. a way. No, but you're in charge in this scenario. How would oh, you handled oh, it? What are oh, you doing? I'm there. Oh. I'm the president. Who am I in this scenario? You're like uh, the leader of the Capitol Police. Oh. The Capitol Police Chief. And Shoot I'm the em. leader of the Proud Boys. Shoot them all. Oh. <laughs> Gun them down. Oh, yeah. Open fire. Garen, you're going to lose a lot of your <laughs> fucking fans, I, I know. think. My subscriptions <laughs> plummet. Yeah. Shoot us. She <laughs> says she's going to shoot us. He wants to shoot us. So that's no. what you're doing? You, you open no, fire? No, no, no. Oh, she's that dragon. <laughs> I'm handing out hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm handing out hot dogs and Cokes and beers. Yeah, you're giving out hot dogs, Cokes I'm and subduing beers. the crowd. Oh, oh, with kindness and love. Kindness, love, maybe a couple of midget jokes. Yes. Oh, okay. And laughter. Throw laughter. Some. I don't know if you know, they say it's the best medicine. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it is. Throw up a <laughs> little montage of Vern Troyer up there. Oh, man, they'll love it. So you, try to, you win them over with party. Yeah. And then they go, you know what? Let's let's leave this alone. Yeah. Republican, Democratic, whatever. Let's all party. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're just uh, you're just above them not drinking, judging all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these fools. <laughs> Look at these fools. Why do I feel like you're filling in a weird mad lib that you're I'm writing? never. My <laughs> original thought was to shoot you all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hot fun. dogs and I beer. Would... Karen likes to party with her January sixth people. <laughs> All right, I think that's nice. I think that's nice. Yeah, too. I think it's nice. Those people have hard lives. I feel like, and they were really just angry at the, the system. The Proud Boys are going to be the full boys after this. Yeah, make yeah. chickens for everybody. All right. I All right. Let's time travel here, chicken. Karen. Let's go back in time. Okay. Actually, no, it's current time. Uh, who in yeah. your family do you butt heads with most, and why? Um, right now, <laughs> it's current time in the current era, uh, but now, not back in time. <laughs> yeah, in the current time. But, the ba- but back in time is a much more interesting answer because right now I really don't butt heads with anyone. So let's just do both then. But my two parter, bro- you got an extra point for that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't know what I'm going to do with all my points. I'm going to go to Dave and Buster's after this and spend all my one. points on a stuffed animal. <laughs> 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 my brother and I fought like cats and dogs like all growing up. Oh no! And I tried to be like cool and be his friend because he got a car. Sure. So this was, is this it, seems like a trend. Was, yeah, it was insincere. Being, being friends with people with cars. <laughs> you were his Jared Schwartz. <laughs> no, but he still he had the car. Right. He's still the Jared Schwartz. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. But right. I was only like I was trying. But then my brother would leave so late for school every morning, and oh, I geez. didn't like being late. I liked being like on time i don't like being early like a nerd anyway we fought a lot we were little we used to like physically fight he beat the shit out of me i um he accidentally 
cut my eye open with a plastic sword once. Oh, Ooh. no. That was pretty violent. He used oh. to give me dead legs all the time. Charlie horses. <laughs> oh, your brother um, was really hard on you. And I scratched him in the eye once and made him bleed. Um, oh, wow. He used to call me Carrie Krueger. And violent upbringing. High school is really tough because he would always like tell on my parents if I was flirting with any of his friends or any kids that were older than me. And I always was doing that. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you were Back always then. in trouble? He would just humiliate me at the dinner table. He'd be like, Karen is fucking sitting on Mike's sleep boy's lap at fucking lunch. And I'd be like, shut the fuck oh, up. Oh, wow. Because my dad just like didn't know how to intake that information. He just turned bright red and scratched his neck a bloody. Classic oh Irish Lord. man. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I can see where the drinking came in. But now I'm. My nickname is Auntie Warbucks in my family. I buy everybody everything. And really? They all have no problem with me anymore. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Auntie Warbucks. We'll put that down. My mom came up with that nickname. Shout yeah. out Shout out to my mom. Okay, shout out to mom. I'll write that in too. Thanks, Jeff. All right, that's in the book. <laughs> shout out to mom. All right, looking for a little redheaded girl. All right, because you're my a My brother Warbucks. and I used to do five stars. What's five stars? Is that going to hurt? So, it's when someone doesn't have their shirt on and you take your hand like this and you smack them in the back as hard as you can. And it leaves a fi- like a big red hand mark on their back. Why? Oh, no. I used to do it in front of my whole family and everyone would laugh at my brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My brother used to hold me down and tickle me until I pissed myself. Oh, Jesus but, Christ. But he would s- what would he do with well, the piss? What would you do with what, the piss? What, what would he do? Drink it, <laughs> lick it. He waited like this. <laughs> he would sit. I would like soak my pants or my jeans. There wasn't so much piss that it was like a puddle. <laughs> it would be. It wouldn't be like I wasn't like in a car for five hours. Like it would just be a regular amount of urine. Did he bottle it and sell it to his friends? <laughs> Jesus, what? He would stand in front of the bathroom while he tickled me, and I was like very, you know, susceptible to peeing my pants if someone tickled me growing up. Yeah, and he knew that, and he thought it was so funny. Oh no! All right. I mean, this brother of yours. I like love him real... so much. He's so. We're really close now. But now you're real close. Was yeah. he older, younger? Where He's older. Yeah. Just got him a Ridge wallet. He's really feeling it. What's a Ridge wallet? They're fucking great. It's one of those metal wallets. They have. They can stop the RFID scanning. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I've been getting scanned a lot lately. You've been getting RFID scanned? Have scans? you? I mean, <laughs> constantly getting RFD, RFD scanned. I think you're probably getting scanned by these hoes out in the um, streets. Yeah, I'm yeah. always getting scanned. Just scan. elevator eyes. Uh, there you go. Like, what What's is... that? A Coles t-shirt? Ooh. <laughs> How dare you? This is a nice pocket. Um... <laughs> Is that from Calvin Klein? No, it's not. Wow. Uh, All right, Karen. What? How old were you when you had your first kiss, and what was it like? Oh. Take me there. Ew. (laughs) Take me there. Take me there. You're such a pedophile. (laughs) I was four. (laughs) Oh, no. I was a baby baby, like, was barely, like, talking, walking. Like, no, but I was, like, four, maybe four. So I was talking. I wasn't like a dumb. I was really Four smart. Four years old. But uh, it was my mom's best friend, Kathy Musrall, had three boys, Dan, Steve, and Matt. And Matt was my age. And I would chase him around. I would hold him down and kiss him. I would make him like kiss me for like 30 seconds. I'm like, we're going to kiss for 10 seconds. Jeff, are you going there? Oh, my God. <laughs> are you, I'm have trapped you, there. Have you transcended? <laughs> That was one. I mean, I had like a few. And then like later when I was like, let's say maybe I was like nine or ten. Oh, yeah. You were a little kiss machine. I kissed my neighbor, Matthew. Um, but it doesn't matter. No, Chris. No, oh, different. this oh. is Chris. Kiss it, Chris. Okay. But you hold him down too? No, he wanted it. Okay, I'll put one. He was consented. Okay. <laughs> when I was four, I raped the face four, of yeah, another yeah, yeah. four-year-old. Aggressively. Let's go. <laughs> That's what the people want. Yeah. Um. What well, I had living a, a lot of listeners' dreams. <laughs> I had, aggressively kissing a four-year-old boy. <laughs> <laughs> I had a very unfortunate thing happen to me when I was in, I think, first grade. Uh oh. And uh, I was the kid next to me. You know, we really built it up. He's like, "Show me yours, and I'll show you mine." And I was like, "You're not going to show me." He's like, "Yes, I am." He's like, "I promise." Trading cards. Yeah. Oh, Jeffrey. <laughs> Why is this is like why this? I do the funny yeah, stuff. Yeah, do the funny stuff. Yeah, I was like, show me yours. 
Gemma, I can't believe you're cards. not going there. She's yeah, like, why aren't you grade. going there? Right, Two I'll children there. are about to there. show each other there. They're all right, I'm there. They're nubile genitalia. Uh, which way am I looking, left or right? <laughs> <laughs> gross. <laughs> you're so gross. <laughs> But like, and then we built it up, right? And then I was like, all right, fine. And like, I pulled down my pants. I'm like, you can't really see much. Not like I was in first grade and like spread my pussy lips for this kid. Holy but I <laughs> But I pulled my pants so you can see, I don't know, my little mound or whatever. My little fucking. <laughs> Jeff, this is the worst question you've ever asked. I didn't know we were going here. <laughs> you wanted to go there. Well, and now I am. I don't like it anymore. And then... <laughs> Everybody like found out, like with spread like wildfire, like in that, like, like Yo, my yeah. pants were back up and I was like, show me yours. Come on. You promised. Show yeah. me yours. And he was like, no. Oh, and he did. Wow. He refused. Wow. I was so mad. And it's like, I wanted like, like somebody to like beat him up for me, but I was like, what was I going to do? Tell my brother. <laughs> like, oh yeah, then hey, your brother tells on you at dinner. Totally. Yeah. Well, imagine that me telling my brother, "Hey, I showed this little boy my privates. Can you go beat him up?" <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I, I feel like he might. He might have. He probably would have. He probably would have. Wonder if that shook your belief in men. Yeah. That's where it started. Yeah. All right. Well, and then here we are. One, let's go back to OnlyFans. We're going back. Why? I just yeah. want to know. We got to go back. We got to go You'll back. You'll never be able to afford it. We just have to go no. back. <laughs> Now, which which do you think OnlyFans is doing more of? Empowering women or monetizing their bodies? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a great question, Jeff. It feels Jeff. like I'm being interviewed by Martha Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> this feels like... <laughs> Who's the lesbian on CNN? Rachel Maddow. Uh, Rachel Maddow, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love Rachel Maddow. Of course you do. <laughs> Um, but why, I don't see how those things have to... Why they have to be mutually exclusive. Okay, well, which ones are doing more? Um, empowering. What kind of who's who gives a fuck? <laughs> I'm empowered because, like, I bet I could like Venmo you five hundred dollars and get you to do something really stupid. Okay, that feels empowering. Right. <laughs> that that would be sick. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. I'll slam my face into the door for five hundred dollars yeah, or yeah. something dumber. And I think monetizing the human body is a good thing. I mean, I think that the healthier bodies probably make more money than the unhealthy bodies. And I'm not saying there aren't niche markets for. The folds. Oh, sure, mm-hmm. sure. But um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think it's a good thing for people to strive to have a healthy body. Oh, so he's making people take care of themselves more. Um, Probably not. They're probably like looking at how hot like the women are and like, probably want to kill themselves. Oh, yeah. Mentally bad, but physically good. Maybe. Okay. Well, there you go. Physically good. Unless you're into squashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's squashing? Like when those big fat ladies sit on a oh, guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that, though. I like watching that. <laughs> I like when they take their big heavy titties and like break, like uh, slam bottles down and cans and stuff. All oh, right. Yeah. You ever seen that? Jeff? I've seen it before. I've, I told I, I think I've told the story on this podcast about when I was at the Claremont Lounge <laughs> in Atlanta, strip club in Atlanta. This lady had huge tits that went down to like her past her belly button, hung, yeah. and she would hold them like a baseball bat, and she'd hit people in the face with them. And she gave one of our friends a black eye <laughs> with her tits. And he, she hit him the second time. She hit him. His knees buckled, and he had to sit down. And he couldn't take the third hit. <laughs> Breasts. 20 bucks. That yeah. sounds empowering. That's yeah. empowering. All right. So you're pro late stage capitalism. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is late stage capitalism? Yeah, yeah. It's something you're into in a big way, it yeah, sounds like. Yeah, something pro Karen. All right. Late stage capitalism. Uh, let's see. Here. I think it's just where capitalism eats us all because it's uh, only going to be good for the rich and not none of the middle class. Oh, late stage? I think it's when everything becomes monetized. Ah. Uh, everything needs to have a money. A, way to profit yeah you, you know? don't think things should uh, be of value i mean you know say you're, you're pro late stage in this we could have a deep conversation but we got to move on to the next question okay. here. <laughs> so speaking Cause, of because jeff also doesn't know anything about it <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see how much do you generally tip uh minimum 20 percent. but since i've been rich so like the past four years or so oh, okay 25 percent 25 percent tipper i'll do a custom tip i i i 
Please let me preface this. I'm a bit of a demanding customer at times. Okay. Mm. When I walk into my local morning coffee shop, I oh. ask for, well, I get my drink, a snack, and I always ask for water for my dog. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's an extra thing that they probably don't want to fucking do. So I make sure to tip for that. And then they don't seem so annoyed the next time I ask. Yes. You know? Has it been a, the regular person almost every time you've been in there? Yeah. And so they're pretty chill with it now that you've given them a, yeah. Yeah. It's good. Okay. I like, I, I don't understand. How, what do you tip? Me? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Probably 18%. Jeff. What? Jeff is a cheap bitch. <laughs> I tip minimum 20%. I know you do, Tim. <laughs> I know. I do 20, but if I can get a little, like a hair under 20, that's where I like If there's favorite. a box that's that you can check for 18%, the most Jeff most unlikable person. It. Yeah, I pick 18%. <laughs> I waited tables for many a year. Yeah. You know? Terribly. So why don't you So tip? I understand how bad it is. <laughs> So why don't you have empathy for them and show that empathy with your he finances? He has no empathy. He's a psychopath. I went through it. They, they the should have to. Do you listen to yourself? Yeah. You're a fucking maniac. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking sicko. I go, now it's your turn. No. This is going to lose us fans, I think. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm out here tipping friend. to make up for how much Jeff doesn't tip. That's good. Do you guys tip on like when you donate to like a GoFundMe? You probably don't donate when you donate to a no. GoFundMe. Oh no, because it tip the tip goes to GoFundMe, right? Yeah, it so goes no, to like the people working that. there. Yeah, yeah, I don't tip GoFundMe. Right. Every time they flip the thing around, zilch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Still, she gives them. I mean, I work. That's when they. Well, I write custom, and I do five bucks. Really? Yeah. I go sign zero no tip, and I beat and it you out fling of there. it back around at them. <laughs> I I you spin it. Look, I can do it twice. I tip them like a buck or two on the turnaround thing. Really? Yeah. I mean, I can't afford to give them five dollars. I can barely afford to give them the extra dollar or two. Give them zilch. <laughs> He, you know, can a, he can afford to give them a dollar. Yeah. yeah. Flip it back around. I don't know. I don't know if he can afford it right now. Yeah. <laughs> Times are tough, Garrett. Sign All up right. for the Patreon. Patreon.com slash tough questions. Sign yeah. up for the Patreon, you guys. Seriously. Oh, oh thank you. Thanks, k -Dog. He's going to be picking sores off his legs on 34th Street. <laughs> I mean, not a bad way to die. <laughs> it's a uh, terrible way to die. She loves me. She loves me not. <laughs> this going to be good. Oh, God. <laughs> you just see me in the corner. Looks like we're almost ready. Right. You're, doing, oh. you're, you're stamping envelopes, fake envelopes with your scabs. <laughs> okay. This one's for Santa. <laughs> that is enough. <laughs> stamp oh, scab? Oh my God. Stamp scab? You don't think that's a good idea? I but, mean, stamp collecting is at an all time low, first of all, so yeah. don't even get into it. And secondly, gross. Uh, hey, sharks. Kibosh. It's called <laughs> scamp st <laughs> scab stamp. All right. I have a great green stamps. I came up with a great idea for the sharks, I think. Oh, what yeah. is it? Mad libs to make libs mad. Yeah, oh, yeah. That that's is a good, good one. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to make them. Do no. them. I think I'm like, I think I'm going to edit that part out because I don't be want like people N -word, to steal N -word, it. N -word, N -word. No, but they, they get, could use it if they'd like. <laughs> It's their <laughs> mad lib. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's their choice. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, funny. All right, Karen, describe your dream vacation. Oh, I'm like... Dream vacation. I mean, I take my dream vacation. I have been for the past, like, three years. Oh, you have one of those vacations that you do multiple times? Well, I, I always go to the Standard in Miami. Or I have for, like, the past, like, like two, three years. That's your dream, huh? I go there, like, a couple times a year. Like, I do, like, in October, and then I'll do, like, a February, you know, mm. just to break up the winter. Mm. That's um, it. You just go well, to through the Miami? That's her dream. Mm. Well, Miami is nice when you have money, Jeff. <laughs> I So that's a dream. Like, I I wanted to take my mom to Saint Tropez, and I had it all booked, but then her foot, she got, like, surgery, and she had surgery on her foot, and her foot got fucked up. Oh, so the dream big. All right, mom's healed foot. Then we'll be able to go to Saint right. Tropez, but I also kind of want to go to Costa Rica. I saw this like house that sleeps ten people, and it's like five grand for like a week. Oh, really? Yeah, that's doable for ten Damn. people. Yeah, can we come? No. All right, you're gonna Jeff and Tim are. Yeah, coming. you can come. Well, Je well, Tim and Micah can. Yeah, I guess I don't know your new. Girlfriend. I always get. I always get to slide in on on the <laughs> Micah invite. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Micah gets invited, and she's like, Costa Tim, Rica. Timmy like, too. Timmy too. She's like, Tim's got. But then a lot of times she's like, Tim can't go. He's got to take care of the cat. That's true. Oh, well, now that me and you are dating. 
Oh, I'll yes. Go, yeah, I'll slide in with you. All right. Jeff's fighting with his lady right now, so we're dating. What'd you do? I don't know. He cooked food in the air fryer after she told him not to. Why'd yeah. you do that? Because was, he's lazy and he didn't want to use the oven. It was the same as the oven. Air fryers and ovens are the same thing. Why didn't she want you to use the air fryer? Know, she's tired of me using the air fryer so much. It was like a, it was a power move, and I knew it was, <laughs> and I didn't like it. So I used the air fryer anyway. Can, who paid for the air fryer? Nobody. It was a gift. They, they found from it. From who? They found it. No, I don't know. No, it was a gift from one of her friends who was moving. It's hers. What, the air fryer? Yeah. She doesn't like it. She never uses the air fryer. Does she not like the smell that it creates? I don't, I don't, you know, it's nothing. It was all power move. There has to be no, a reason. It was, it was a power if This move. is what I kept saying last night. There has to be a reason. To the reason was control. No. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> because a preheating an oven does take longer, but it's going to create the same smell if but you're, all you whatever gotta, you're cooking. Yeah. I like the smell of most foods. But when you preheat the oven, all you got to do is turn the knob and then go sit down for a while till it's done. You must have been hungry. Yeah, Yeah. you put it right in the air fryer. It's the same. It's just hot air that moves as opposed to hot air that doesn't move. Do you clean the air fryer after you use it? We got these silicone inserts that then we can take them out and put them in the dishwasher. Do you do that? I do do that. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, I don't know what this bitch's problem is. It's a power is, move, I, I don't swear. Know. And we're in the middle of a fight, and I will go nuclear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. I, uh, doubt it. I feel like she could give you a new felt tip pen, and you'd yeah. be back in. I am easy to buy. <laughs> All right. So, well, since we're talking about my, let's see, Karen, why the heck aren't you married? <laughs> <laughs> An old classic. <laughs> this is I don't when the know, show Jeff. gets good. I don't know. Why aren't you married? <laughs> Why am I? Aren't you? Here, look. Are I you married? I'm not here to answer questions. Why aren't any of us married? I mean, I, Tim's the closest. I don't have any money. And I asked Micah if she'd be my girlfriend forever. So we're basically married. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's nice. All right, I got a fiance. We're engaged. You are engaged. And we are engaged. Mm-hmm. Oh well, right. I guess it's just but they're me. Having, they're having nuclear meltdowns over the uh, over air fryer. Over an air fryer. Yeah, yeah. See, I'll be honest. Like, you guys don't really make. I mean, you and Mike are great, but people don't really make relationships look that appealing to me. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. <clears throat> I have um, a really great time by myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I really I do exactly what I want to do. I spend a lot of money on myself. I don't sacrifice. I go to sleep exactly when I want to. Oh, okay. So you love being alone because you're in charge of your life. Wow. I feel like when you're in relationships, no matter what, like you have to like kind of like cut corners a little bit and sacrifice this and that and like just sucks yeah Yeah. you gotta give up a lot of the bed sometimes because your girlfriend sleeps in it and the cat takes up a good amount of it as well yeah and you're the biggest fattest piece of shit on the bed (laughs) and yeah you have the smallest part (laughs) and an animal has the biggest part and then you just wake up the next morning and you do it all again but you love the cat with all your heart so you don't care that's nice how did you know you wanted to marry your girlfriend I love being locked down. You love being locked down? <laughs> I love being... Wait, your reason for marrying Chelsea is because you love being locked down? I love being locked Because down. without it, you would just be ravaged. I would be like a damn tumbleweed in the wind. <laughs> oh, you would have no direction. Nope, across the country, just <laughs> pour, through. This boat needs an anchor, and by God, he found one. It is nice, though, when he, Jeff has a girl because... He'll be doing like his gigs or whatever, and it keeps him from texting me. I'm bored. What are you doing? <laughs> I get so lonely. But Karen thrives in it. Doesn't I really will not do. cut corners. It, no. it is. It is. I mean, sacrificing doing whatever you want all the time is hard to do sometimes. Mm-hmm. Even though like my life is a hundred times better since Micah's come yes, into it. Micah has done nothing but improve your life. <laughs> yeah. My thing is like, I have like a pretty strict routine. Sure. I'm up at six every day. I'm out with the dog until about eight. I'm at the gym by nine, nine thirty. I leave the gym around 11. I do some food. Woo-wee. Mm-hmm. I'm walking right. the dog again. Then I'm probably doing a podcast. Then I'm taking a nap. And then I'm going to do my shows. All right. Honey works. Okay. <laughs> Jeff, 
I've, I swear to God, it's almost cultural appropriation honey, to, to, honey to gay people the way you just <laughs> talk. He? I don't know where he comes up with the things he says. It's honey like works. He, it's like Bravo is going on in his head. <laughs> so you don't need no one tying you down. All right. Great. I love that. Well, I mean, if it's just you, where do you see yourself at 70? <laughs> You're 70 years old. I mean, I already have all these like great investments working for me, just mm-hmm. like accruing money every day. Okay, sure. So That's I'm probably sick. just... Me, I, me too, me yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just going to be like rich as fuck, you know? Like you, you start like an IRA and I have like a couple CDs. Like you just, you start amassing wealth that okay. I am 40. But by 70, you just figure, especially if I keep working... I'm just going to be rich as fuck. Just rich? Just rich in 70? <laughs> rich, but like, you know, the generous kind of rich. All right. What about I'm, oh, I'm going nice. to own real estate on the Cape. I'll probably own a cottage. Oh, real estate? We're getting into the real estate game? Yeah. I'll, I'll have like um, an investment property that I do like Airbnb with. Oh, okay. All right. And then I'll probably, you know, buy whatever's left on my parents' house. I mean, I don't know what my parents are going to do, who they're going to. They'll probably leave the house to me, honestly. Mm-hmm. Because I can like maintain it and pay the property taxes. And I mean, your auntie Warbucks, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you're, you're going to be like a rich businesswoman at seventy. Yeah, I think lots of real estate ventures. I probably see in my future. I mean, I'll probably be like even more famous than I am now. You are. You are. The fame will go up. Oh, and maybe at sixty nine, I'll uh, I'll get passed at the cellar, and I can work. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Then you yeah. can hang out with Jeff, and I can hang out with <laughs> yeah. Jeff. I'm dead. <laughs> Jeff's dead, but they got a. They got a. Well, just a. Eh, fuck it. They got my. <laughs> <laughs> you failed. Yeah, fuck it. What were you yeah. going to say? I don't even know. He was I was, was going to. at the table. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say there was a statue of you like the Paul Mooney one at the Laugh Factory. <laughs> He's still sucking Estes' ashes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, man, I haven't been there in two weeks. Okay. <laughs> I thought you said you haven't been in a month. <laughs> I'm lowering it to two weeks to make myself feel better. Ooh, oh, because they're both Jeff. true. Mm-hmm. Tough questions. Yeah, that's the tough questions that I ask myself every day in my yeah. noggin. Mm. Tough question. Uh, do you think it has something to do with your act? No, not at all. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know what it is. Maybe a personality then. It could be personality. Uh-huh. It could be maybe I tried a new bit last time. Maybe I wanted, I asked to be on their Instagram and it did bad. Oh, it did? Know. It didn't do as good as Pat's. Pat, viral sensation. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Pat Bercher. Pat uh-huh. Bercher, viral sensation. Uh-huh. Um, Karen, He's a functioning art art though, so it's like, it's fine. That's true. What, uh, what do you think is happening to men? I think you guys are all little beta cuck bitches. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Get them, Karen. Oh, Karen. I'm non binary for this for this question and no, this question all, only. Tim is not beta. Tim is alpha. Tim does all of the building that's ever happened in my home. <laughs> okay. He's put together multiple beds for me, built furniture, hung things. He's done purely alpha things. And he's never been annoying. And he's not afraid of my dog like a little bitch like these other fucking losers are. I bet you'd be so afraid of my dog, Jeff. Oh, me? Yeah. We have no. the same dog. Wait, we have the same dog. Uh-huh, yeah. All right, never mind. Maybe See? it'll be cool. Maybe it'll be cool. Is your dog like you? Oh, she loves me. Loves really? Tim. Mabel lays in she my... She loves men. Yeah. Mabel will lay in my lap while I'm making things at Karen's <laughs> house. Oh, that's so cute. And, and Karen will be like, you got it done so quickly. I'm like, I got it done so slow because Mabel was <laughs> in my lap and I was petting her. And then she barked at me because I wouldn't go over to the couch and pet her. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The dog Mabel loves me. Mabel loves you. Let's yeah. talk about your dog. Birdie, not a fan. Not a fan of me. <laughs> Growls at me. <laughs> yeah. Really? Well, Birdie lives with a strong woman and a beta male. So yeah. when this alpha male comes yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, it's a boy dog you have? Or uh, a girl? girl. A birdie? Birdie, yeah. What is she? Like a lab shepherd mix? She is a mix of a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. They're and about the same dog, though. I yeah. think. Yeah. yeah. The biggest part of her is Malinois. Oh, she's got Malinois in her. Yeah, oh. just like a ge- energetic police army dog. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's a crazy dog. Yeah. What do you guys do with her to enrich her life? Well, uh, I take her to the roof and play tennis ball with her all day. Yeah. Just throwing the ball back and forth. Right. She loves a loves ball. Loves it. Same oh. with Mabel. Can she catch a Frisbee? You know, we haven't tried Frisbee. Try a Frisbee, dude. Yeah? Because it's really fun for us. 
Okay. What'd you say? Go to the park. Do the frisbee. I take her to the park. I'll try the frisbee. She loves the ball though. She's How a is she head. with other dogs? Fine. She really is just obsessed with balls. Sam, other dogs will get close to her, and she may like she'll like snap at them if they get too close. Yeah. And so she's go, oh. not good with other dogs. It sounds Wait, like some no. she's fine, but it's always just she a snap. Hurt, has she get... hurt another dog? No. My dog has. Oh, oh really? <laughs> mm-hmm. Recently. Oh, man. Oh, no. no. Yeah, it was a little mini doodle. Um, we don't really fuck with doodles, and she hates fucking French bulldogs, too, and so do I. But uh, <laughs> I, some guy fucking yelled at me. I have a couple clips about how I hate French French bulldogs up, sure. and some guy mm-hmm. accosted me this morning in Battery Park while he was walking his Frenchie. He's like, hey, why do you fucking hate French bulldogs so much? Because he's like, seen your clips? Yes. Oh, wow. He's like, nice. he's like, I've been waiting to run into you. Oh, oh my <laughs> oh, wow. God. He's like, look, see, my friend, she's nice. He's cool, whatever. And then Mabel proceeded to go, like she wanted to kill him. Oh. <laughs> That's tight. But he was a fan. Yeah. Mabel put a couple holes in this little doodle's ear <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Jeez Louise. Yeah, just throw some earrings in there. It'll be fine. <laughs> just gave him a little Spanish infant ear piercing. Oh, and what happened? What did you have to do? Did you have to, you have so, to grease their palms? This Beta cuck fucking away. loser. Oh, here just we Just starts like this guy just got kicked off his lacrosse team. You know, like just such a bro douche. Mm-hmm. He starts screaming at me. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. That dog attacks a dog every time she's in here, which is not true. Okay. That uh. was the first time she's ever actually heard a dog. And I was standing there really calm because the second it happened, Mabel growled at it. I turned around to grab her leash and I turned back and she's fucking eating the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. But I, and so the guy jumped on my dog's back. Okay. And then she maybe like snapped at him. She's like, she bit me. I was like, well, you jumped on her back. I mean, mm-hmm. what's she supposed to do? Anyway, I'm holding her leash. I'm holding her. It's all over. It all lasted maybe 60 seconds tops. Mm-hmm. And the guy's like, get the fuck out of here. Fuck you before I call the fucking cops. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right. So I just left. Damn. A week later, he snuck up on me while I was at the dog park. And he was like, hey, I don't know if you remember, but your dog attacked my dog. And my lawyer friend, who had been told this whole story, jumped up. And she was like, actually, I heard you verbally attacked her. She's like, you guys oh, can exchange wow. information, but you better get the fuck out of here. Oh, and, and that I, was it? No, the guy was like, Ugh. He was like, who is she? I was like, that's my lawyer. I can't help it. <laughs> like, she's just, <laughs> she just she, is lawyering all the time. She Whoa. loves yelling. So I gave him my phone number. <clears throat> I still haven't seen any proof or been asked to pay any vet bills, but I totally would. I, I asked him right away, is your dog okay? I was worried he was going to say, no, she's dead, and I was going to have to buy a new doodle. Yeah, have to buy a new yeah doodle. that sucks. All Order right. off Wayfair or whatever. Okay. Well, it was this poor man. All Jeff, right. how many times did that you... That question, I never answered either. What? What do I think is going on with yeah, men? Yeah, what's happening with men? <laughs> oh. Sounds like they're bad dog owners. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think's happening? I feel like it's like... You have two choices. You could be like a red pill something, or you can just like get called a little bitch. Yeah, I think it's just how it's always been. <laughs> so can, men have two choices right now. I don't know. It's like Andrew Guberman or Andrew Tate. <laughs> yeah, it's like picking Andrew. Okay. <laughs> and what do you think men are picking more? Um, well, I think men who like critical thinking men probably leaning more towards Andrew Huberman Guberman. And younger guys, I would think, identify more with Andrew Tate. Oh, the younger guys are like more because they that podcast, the Nelk Boys, yeah, is like super popular, and they have like Andrew Tate, and they're like doing right wing stuff. And yeah. I think a lot of the younger generation is a lot more right wing than. And so the older generation's all a bunch of soft men with softer wieners. Yeah, probably. Interesting. Think about that, huh? All right. But I don't know. I haven't I haven't talked to any of these kids. I just asked my friend Andrew. His cousin's 18 and lives next to Central Park. His family does. Mm-hmm. And I go, so are your rich friends still taking our... Are you guys... Are the rich kids still taking their parents' pills? Taking all the pills from yeah. their parents? He goes, yeah. I go, you got a bunch of friends addicted to their parents' pills? He goes, none of them are addicted. I go, yet. I go, just wait till you lose about two or three of them. Yeah. And Andrew goes, quit telling my cousin that his friends are going to die. <laughs> Jim. I was like, they are. They might one day. From a man who has a lot of dead friends. Yeah, yeah. you do. It's sad. All right. A few more questions. <laughs> Moving on. Jeff knew several of them. Um, no uh, empathy. But no one's friends with Jeff. And I let nobody in. Um, <laughs> what's your most vivid childhood memory? And how did it shape you? One time I fell in a pond full of ducks. 
<laughs> Whoa, cool. Did they attack you? What a cute origin story. They were oh. all swimming around me going, meh, 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 meh. Oh. Oh and I God. had on like a fuck, like something was immobile. You know when your parents used to like insulate you, but you couldn't move your limbs? Yeah. So it was like floating, but I could barely get out. And then my mom grabbed me by the hood and like drug me out of the pond. Oh, okay. Um, so you fell into a pond full of ducks, little kid. How did it shape who you are? Uh, I think um, I was mostly irritated that my mom put me to bed early. <laughs> oh. So I've always been like, I wanted to stay up late, you know? <gasps> oh, and now you're staying up late at comedy shows. The ducks are like your bats. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. From Batman. Yeah, from Batman. All right. <laughs> comedy ducks. I love that. I feel like I got good points on that one. Too. That's yeah. a good, that was that a good was answer. Good. I thought it was a cute story and it seemed honest and real and I went there. My <laughs> uncle tried to make uh, a video for America's Funniest Home Videos back in the day <laughs> and he goes, get in the, he he had a bunch of golden retrievers. He used to like train golden retrievers or something. Cool. And they were all in my grandparents' pool. It was like 10 of them. And he goes, get in the pool with the dogs. I you? go, yeah. And I go, okay. <laughs> and then I got caught in the corner with the dogs and they all kept scratching me in the corner. <laughs> oh my God. And I got out and I had a bunch of scratches. And my mom was like, that wasn't very funny. They <laughs> 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 got scratched up by a bunch of dogs. Uh, Isn't that funny at all? <laughs> um... Let's see, our, car, our crowd work clips, are they good or bad for stand-up comedy? Um, I think the good ones are good. You think they're good for, I mean, for the whole thing? Is uh, the trend of, of crowd work videos, are they good for the art of stand-up? Why, why not? I mean, crowd work has <laughs> always been part of stand-up comedy. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I think while there should be like a meritocracy, meaning there's good crowd work and then there's fucking hacky, obnoxious, shitty crowd work, but I think good, like... <laughs> Interesting, you, Timmy. Yeah. Timmy. <laughs> me too. Picnic uh, ass, shirt ass, having yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, N word, R word, N word, R word. Um, did you just fart? No, that was me moving oh, this thing. With I had a fart in the cannon earlier, and I don't know where it went. Oh no! Uh oh. I was scared it was gonna like power out. <laughs> now I don't know what happened to it. All right. But um, so that's you know, it's a nuanced <laughs> question. I'm sure that you think it should be only joke. Set up, punchline, bow. <laughs> <laughs> no. Arm think- raised. Jeff does, Jeff does this very annoying thing. Like yeah. if you go on before him, I was headlining a show and Jeff was opening and he goes, he goes up, he goes, hey, what's your name? What do you do? What do you both? And he did that in a matter of four minutes. And then he goes, well, that's everyone in the crowd. And then he just did his act. And I was like, why the fuck did you do that? <laughs> why would you say that? Got you all. <laughs> yes. We know everything about everyone. Nothing yeah, else to do. Yeah. I walk up, I go, you got a hat on, nice glasses. Yeah. She's wearing a shirt. All right, that's the crowd work. And then I do Joe. Jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So you Jeff. think there's skills in crowd work and it's improving the art. I, <laughs> he's such a pain in my ass. He makes my blood boil. Right. Put that down here. All right. Don't write that down. Improving the art. That he said. make my blood boil. <laughs> Karen's blood boils. <laughs> Boiling. Okay, we'll have to do that in our debrief. Um that's on our Patreon. When you yeah. leave, we're going to talk about you and your answers. Oh. Um, that's what we do. That's great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you can subscribe to our Patreon if you want to hear us talk about you. Patreon.com <laughs> slash tough questions. I'm just going to ask Tim what you said. <laughs> no, no, no. Tim, no, 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 no. Okay. Make your bet. <laughs> As one of, I'm gonna Venmo him a hundred dollars right now <laughs> to negate anything that you're about to say. I was gonna say, as one of my mini bosses, I would have just sent it to Karen. Yeah. Mm. Unbelievable. <laughs> I also um, sent Drake the episode. Drake. He was on it. Um, oh yeah, you sent it to Drake. That was fun. Yeah. Drake. David Drake. Uh, oh, David. Matt. I thought Drake. you meant Drake. Oh, if we got Drake, you could. Oh my God, uh, David Drake, handsome father. Uh, how are we doing on time, Timbo? I don't know. I forgot to start it up. I let's see. We're at <laughs> we're at thirty minutes on my thing. I, I bet we're at like fifty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Would I got a couple more then. All right. Uh, Karen, what's your uh, what's your, your goal weight? Favorite? Probably like one eighteen. <laughs> oh yeah, now. 120. Oh, 150. Yeah. Look at that. 30 pounds. If I lose 30 pounds, we could be the same size. You'd look like a Holocaust <laughs> fucking <laughs> skeleton. I think everybody would be like, Jeff, you look like Karen Fee. Yeah. You look exactly like Karen. It's so weird. 
I weigh 215. That's good, Tim. You've lost weight, Tim. I've lost weight. I'll do all your spots. Like, Karen's here. It's just emaciated me. You're talking about OnlyFans? I sell pictures of my asshole on the internet. (laughs) You look like Gollum. For 25 bucks, you can see my asshole. Passes out midway through. Someone's like, get this man an orange juice. Two bucks of you. Two bucks of you. (laughs) <laughs> Two bucks of you. Same review, I, I know, but you do you think it's like when like they had those things back in Times Square where like, like the window opened? Yeah, peep show. Yes, he does. That's what he thinks. <laughs> yeah. He thinks he's gonna walk up to me with like silver dollar coins the next time yeah. I see him and throw them at me. <laughs> Give me my views. Yeah, I'm here for my view. This is your apartment, right? I just put it in the keyhole. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's terrifying. <laughs> I love going down to this neighborhood. Yeah? All right. What's <laughs> that even mean? I, I don't know. know. He's like the skeleton Mr. Rogers. <laughs> yeah. Nuh-uh. That's a good guy. That's a good character. What's your favorite historical fact? Oh, I don't know. I was just learning about Cleopatra the other day. Oh, then tell me the fact that you love. Um. <laughs> Just like she like, I think she like killed her own brother and sister because they were gonna usurp her shit. Oh, oh. that's cool. Okay, it's kind of badass. It is pretty cool. Uh, so that's what you're going with, kid bro, bro and sis. Um, I also think it's cool that people can like hold their breath for a really long time underwater. That's not really a historical fact. Yeah, that's not a historical fact. <laughs> you just like a manny. You like a manny Puig type. No, but can I tell you what I was thinking in my head? Sure. That woman who like holds all the world records, which are historical facts if you think about it. Uh-huh. She did. St- <laughs> yeah, she did hold her breath for a really long time. It was a historic event. Yeah, it was a historical fact. I watched her. I watched her dive with Manny Puig. Yeah, remember Manny from Jackass? He was that guy that was always oh. he was their animal expert. He's like one of those free diver guys. Oh. oh. You got to be careful, though, when you do that, because you can get the bends really easily. Yeah. Interesting. All right. So that's your favorite. We'll go with Cleopatra, not this holding breath thing. Yeah. It's, <laughs> historical. Just trying to give breath. you bonus content for the Patreon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, actually, oh, that was nice. a right answer to this question. Oh. Oh. Ooh, yeah. let me guess then. Oh, okay. You can guess what um, it was. When Lincoln got shot. Holy crap. <laughs> Is that it? You are so close. Oh, dude. Really? You are when so he freed the close. slaves. No, nope, it was that John Wilkes Booth was an actor. Oh, oh, that's pretty close. Whoa, we're getting there. Yes. You guys are mind melding. We're trying to meld. Yeah. Synergy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're trying. Hopefully, at the like end of this run, it'll just be you and then the combined me and Tim. We'll yes. be one person. Kiss. Great questionnaire. Great I'm, funny guy. Jeff, if we go to Edinburgh, do a show every day. <laughs> we will. We will. We'll get to Edinburgh. We'll do it. We'll You'll do it. A uh, couple more. And then uh, one more. Then one more. Karen, two what, more. Yeah, two more. Uh, <laughs> generally speaking, Karen, what can just screw right off? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fucking questions. <laughs> who what? Can, how about like who can just what can just screw right off? Does who count as the what? Mm. Yeah, yeah, we can do a who. You can I don't know. Right I mean, I'm just like trying to come from a place of love and gratitude, and you yeah. want me to just like shoot anger at people, yeah. which is weird, Jeff, because you've been trying to be positive and upbeat lately too. Who yeah, can but just screw right off. Sometimes something can just screw right off. Yeah, what's out here grinding your gears? Yeah, what can just... A screw right... My toothpaste cap. Oh, here we go. I like this answer. Tell me more. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 you got all oh, that... Were you saying because it screws? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to be all gunked up or something. Yeah. I'm tired of it. Because no. I have the click one, and Micah doesn't put it back down, so it all gunks up. Yeah, yeah me yeah. neither. Chelsea yeah. doesn't squeeze from the bottom. Mm. A middle squeezer. Really, she doesn't squeeze you ever. I hope she puts toothpaste <laughs> in the fry later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hope she makes you some fried toothpaste snacks. Oh, Karen, no! Come no. on, what can screw <laughs> off? What can screw off? Take, um, people with little dogs who walk them off leash and let oh. them just run up to big dogs. There it is. Let's fucking go. And then they're like, "Why are dogs?" 
dog and it's like your dog looks like a ferret madam like my dog's gonna rip its throat out and it's you know okay. she's not because i'm gonna maintain her i know what i'm doing mm-hmm. you are 100 percent right little dogs off a leash These see people. dogs off leash in new york is the worst thing in the world uh, i love that i run with mabel off leash at like 5 30 to 6 30 a.m sometimes you know six to seven if we woke up a little late and like that's fine are you on the streets we're in Battery Park, so it's all parks. It's all oh, lawn yeah. after lawn after lawn. Mm, okay. It's all, all right. in the water. It's where the rich people live. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I dream of it in my sleep. Um, <laughs> okay. Look at that. She couldn't figure out what could screw off. Gave her a little push. This was her. Really in a big one. Yeah. Uh, that was a great nice. answer. Nice. Absolutely fantastic answer. Um, <laughs> yeah, bonus on that. All right, last question. The final question. I didn't know I could get bonuses. Yeah, huh? yeah you get bonuses if I like it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. He's such a manic. He's my best friend. He's maniacal. <laughs> I think I, I think I like how, how red his neck is. I think I like how shitty he is. <laughs> I, I like his overall well, shittiness. Like the, the last question is going to be the worst. All right. Oh, the Karen, last question. Last it's the same question. question for everybody. Yeah. Uh, oh, it is? Yeah, Karen. Uh, what stand ups got you into comedy? Who are your guys? <laughs> <laughs> I, hate this show. <laughs> I hate this show. I want all my statements retracted and I want to be removed from this episode. <laughs> I could put I could probably censor you and uh change your voice so it looks like one of those dateline things where it's like Do you guys want to know the truth? Yeah, we yeah. do want to know. Everybody gets this question. So when I started like sort of thinking that I might do like comedy. I was doing like comedy acting. I was like writing some monologues and memorizing them. And I was memorizing other monologues that other people had written. Oh. So my mom bought me tapes of Gilda Radner and um, oh. Lily Tomlin, both like doing their like one woman shows oh. and like doing different characters. Okay. So that was my first dip. All right, Lily Tomlin, Gilda Radner. We haven't had either one of those. I'm, well, I don't know. Am I the oldest guest? I mean, my that was no. my mom's like no. era. Like she was like, this, these ladies are funny. <laughs> 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 no. But they fucking both were super funny. All right, great. Yeah, Gilda Radner. Does a, there's a comedy fest in Michigan? Gilda yes. Radner's Laugh Fest. That's right. Mm-hmm. Don't say it like that. Gilda Radner's Laugh Fest. Don't put your head, you got your chin all the way up like mm-hmm. you're better than everyone. Yeah. Don't Why do... are you saying it like that? Just because it's a nice fest that Michigan puts on supporting funny women. And uh, What about Gilda's place? <coughs> What's that? I Is think it? it's like a cancer research place. Oh, I oh. thought it was I thought it was for comedians who had been harmed by Jeff and his <laughs> questions. Like the McDonald's house for beating women. Yeah. It's a two-story house. <laughs> we couldn't go. We couldn't go into the. I would. I did a bunch of window coverings at the McDonald's house, and they had to like get the women out of the room before I came in because they. Some of them are so traumatized they can't even look at a man. Oh wow! So that. <laughs> you, what do you thank want me you for listening to the episode. <laughs> I, I, I feel like they'd be okay with Jeff. Yeah, they'd be fine with Jeff. <laughs> yeah, they would. They would probably wouldn't let me leave. Be like, you stay yeah, here. I know the tumbleweed is here. <laughs> yeah, the tumbleweed. Let's lock him down. They're like, oh, I love being locked down. <laughs> um, all right, little dogs off leash. You got a bonus there. Great job, Gilda. Tim's an alpha. I didn't like that. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. You didn't like that? Rich, 70s, good stuff. Uh, 25% tip. <laughs> Charitable. Uh, okay. Got, uh, let's see here. Bought. This, oh, fell. You fell a lot when you're drunk. You know, now you got it together. Hot dogs and beer, and you want to shoot people on January 6th. <laughs> I like, was just warming up. That was I an early so. question. I like yeah. that. I like the shooting uh, everyone one. <laughs> 25 a month. I think that's a great price range. Um, it's so not really a range. It's just one number. You know what? I'm going to give you a solid uh, 
8.25. Oh, that's great. That's a good score. That's Aaron. a great score. Karen. Out of what? Out of 10. Okay. 8.25. I want to know what my 1.75 deductions were about. Oh, they were around here somewhere. <laughs> well, calling me an alpha, I think, yeah, was one. That, that was a, a one pull mm. point, probably. Mm-hmm, <laughs> that's mm-hmm. crazy. I think Jeff thinks that you probably should be charging $50 yeah. a month. Yeah, yeah. You flip flopped on Jan 6. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. You gave us with the original and you pulled back. Right, right. So, you confidence. made me scared I was going to lose my fans. Yeah, yeah. T- so you, you listen to Tim on that, and that costs you some points. Yeah, Tim you never want to listen to me. you got to listen to your heart. Yeah, yeah, so you got 8.25, though, so you can do your little plugs. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> when does this come out? Uh, two weeks. Okay. Um, so. Hopefully that's before September 7th, because I will be at the New York Comedy Club's location in... Uh, Stanford, Connecticut. Please come out to that. That's a Thursday evening, one night only. Please buy tickets to that show. Um, and then I'm at the Comedy Bar in Chicago, the 22nd and 23rd. And I am going to Vegas for Skankfest the last weekend in September. Oh, oh that's fun. Well, that's a fun September you got coming up. Yeah. Oh, nice. Comedy Bar is fun. You'll like that place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shane Gillis wants me to like send a self-tape so I can be in one of his fucking sketches. And I'm like, must I? <laughs> a self tape, right? Be like, I, you guys are like friends, right? Yes, yeah. FaceTime. That's uh, that's right? an yeah. That's an odd power move. That uh, that's like a. I feel like that's like a air fryer esque yeah. power move. Yeah, but, it but it's also it's not him. It's like the production people are asking uh, me for a self tape, and I feel like if I I don't want to be such a dork and like go to Shane and be like, really, do I have to do a fucking self tape, dude? Mm, yeah. I, even though I want to, I'm just gonna suck it up and do it. Yeah. Yeah, but it'd do, be cool if I tape. didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I make I make Tim send self tapes for every episode. Yeah, I have, I'm auditioning every week. Every single week, <laughs> this is an audition. For him. Yeah. <laughs> and he's on thin ice. Yeah. And in case I don't make it, come out September 12th in uh, Memphis. I don't know the venue yet. I got to get with Charlie, but I'm headlining in Memphis on September 12th, and then I'm letting Tom Takar headline for me. <laughs> At the uh, Looney Bin in Little Rock, Arkansas, where I found out what the money was today, and it is bad. <laughs> so, so come out to those shows and buy a koozie because I'm going to need some extra money to get through that weekend. Oh. So, uh, buy some koozies and uh, check out Great Hank Podcast, and of course, check out the Tough Questions Podcast or the Tough Questions. Patreon, oh yeah, and my podcast, Only Fiends. Yeah, Tim's, check Tim's out Only on Jeff's going to be on it. He just needs to relax. Yeah, 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 just follow me and you'll see me there at New York Jeffrey. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>